Hi, you guys. Okay, I know some of you have been holding out for a yoga, a little yoga flow, so here we go. I just got home from teaching a class in Fernie I teach at SOAR twice a week. Just put the kids to bed, and now I thought I'd jump on here before it is midnight and do a little yoga, um, show you guys a little yoga flow that I like to do. So if you're new here, my name is Jocelyn. I am a gold leader within doTERRA. I'm a yoga instructor. I'm a mom of two kids, and I am a super big advocate for natural health, living your best life, um, and moving your body. So that's the topic for tonight is number 27 of 30, move your body. I personally love yoga, and if you're watching and you don't have a yoga practice or, hey Sam, um, yeah, if you are like, well, I can't do yoga, like I'm not flexible, or I can't do yoga, I'm like 65 years old, that's fine, and you can do yoga, okay? Yoga does not have to hurt. <laughs> yoga does not have to be hard, although it can be. There's so many different styles of yoga, okay? So what I'm going to show you tonight is just a little way to gently move your body and get some movement back going. Okay, because remember in like day five or something, this is day 27, we talked about, um, we did like a five minute like little sun salutation or whatever, but I talked about the fuzz. So the fuzz, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like every night when we go to bed or yeah, so every night before we go or when we go to bed, when we wake up in the morning, we stretch, right? Every cat in the world stretches when they wake up. Okay, you're melting the, flood, the fuzz, we call it. So it's like your fascia in between your in between your skin and your muscles is this like little it's like fibers called this this like little fibers grow okay um so you can think of like if you have like an injury and you're meant to like you know keep your arm in a sling because you've injured your shoulder you're not going to move it right and it after you know day after day after day of like not moving my shoulder i'm not moving my shoulder because it's it hurts when i move my shoulder so i'm not going to move it and then you keep it in that sling and maybe a week or two goes by and then when you have to move it when you're supposed to be healed or whatever, you need to do some recovering, you have to melt all those layers of fuzz, all those nights of fuzz that you didn't, you didn't melt the fuzz, okay? So that's known as like, you know, frozen shoulders, like, it's just another, another analogy of that fuzz, okay, building up and building up over time. So as we age, we tend to lose mobility in certain places because we forget to move our bodies. It's not like we forget, we maybe like, either we don't want to, or maybe like, we just don't get to it in a day or whatever, but even just for five or 10 minutes, just moving your body, okay? Especially up in between here is where we lose a lot of mobility in, the, in between the, um, the shoulder blades and things like that. So yeah, I'll show you a super gentle little flow and I don't care how old you are, <laughs> you're doing this. You can do it in a chair, okay? Sit on your chair, your feet are flat on the, the ground. You sit tall in your chair pretend someone's pulling a string from the top of your head so you're growing taller and then just begin to sh roll your shoulders back okay you're breathing here and then opposite directions you can move slowly here you're melting the fuzz okay and then maybe you bring your hands up over your head you can't really see me i'll try to move back here got my living room cleared out so i can <laughs> Your whole body stuff. So up overhead, maybe you reach to one side, maybe you drop one arm, and then you're breathing into, into this area, the intercostal muscles, the spaces in between the ribs, and you're feeling like you're kind of working on spiraling the torso towards the sky. All the way up, come into a twist. So twists are so good because it's like gently detoxing the organs. It's like wringing out a sponge, but also, in between the, the discs of the vertebrae are these like sponge-like things. So here we are, wringing out the sponges. And then when we untwist, it's like expanding again, those little discs in between the vertebrae. Inhale, grow taller, exhale the other side. Again, just breathing in, in between the ribs. Spiral the chest open. And then come into that twist again. This is amazing for the health of your spine. If the neck is healthy, turning all the way around. Just a little piece about safety. If you're pregnant and twists, just keep your belly button facing forward at all times in a twist. You're just mainly twisting this part of your spine. Okay, 
back to the front. Let's come on to, actually no, stay in your, stay in your seat, do some circles. So even if you're on the chair, if you can sit on the ground, that's best. But circling, this is amazing if you have been sitting in a desk job all day, just getting into the shoulders, into the neck. And then it's awesome if you can incorporate the breath into this movement as well. So maybe one circle is one inhale, one circle is one exhale. So when we begin to slow down the breath, we can link the breath to the movement and that's literally our guide through our yoga practice. Okay, did we switch sides? It's been a long day. <laughs> Okay, and then even if you're sit sitting in a chair, exhale, drop the chin down, round, breathe into the space behind, in between the shoulder blades, inhale, forward and back, I'll turn separately so you can see. So this is just bringing mobility, melting the fuzz, <laughs> bringing mobility back to the places that we don't normally move all the time, right? And just these super simple movements make you feel so much better. Back to center, come onto hands and knees. <clears throat> Which way can I do this that'll be all on camera? All right, so this is cat cow. So again, we're just like bringing mobility back to the spine. So you exhale, round, inhale, expand. This is an awesome exercise too that's low impact generally. And then if you want to, continue with that, or you can even raise a leg. You can't really fully see it on the camera, but you raise your leg, flex your foot like you're walking on a wall, draw the belly in, and then take a few breaths and switch sides. Awesome. And then going a little bit deeper, come up and into your downward dog. Okay, if you're not going into downward dog, Take a child's pose. So you might not be able to see me here, but what you do is bring your knees wider apart, probably about you know a foot or two, and then come to laying with your forehead down on the earth. This is known as child's pose, and this is an awesome resting pose that you can, um, anytime you know, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed or scattered, or that's a great way to just, um, just relax and ground back into center. So. Um, that's my tip for today. Hopefully the, like the underlying, you know, message is just move your body. Um, before I let you go, I will move through a Suri Namaskar and a Suri Namaskar B. So just to show you a little bit more of like an up level, um, yoga flow, if you are interested in learning that, um, if you are, you know, if you have any sort of health injuries or um, are elderly or whatever, um, take it like anybody, you know, listen to your body. When you practice yoga, it is a practice and it's not about comparison. I've been teaching yoga for over 11 years now, so there's no comparing one person's practice to another. Um, it's all about coming back to your body. Um, and most people, I think when we talked about the meditation um, health habits challenge, we talked about how like kind of the, for some, I guess, techniques, like meditation leads you to yoga, or sorry, yoga leads you to meditation, right? So yoga is preparing the body to be able to sit for longer periods of time. Yoga is like incredible for physical wellness, emotional wellness. It's amazing for, you know, just overall preventative care for your physical body, but it also does like amazing wonders for your brain and your mindset and your overall wellness emotionally okay so I'll move back here and hopefully you can still still hear me but I will lead you through a sun salutation Surya Namaskar A and then Surya Namaskar B and yeah anytime you know you need to just have a reset and you know the day's just feeling a little bit off you can do it anywhere I purposely did not roll out my math mat just so I can show you guys um you can do it on the carpet you can do it on the whatever hardwood floor you don't need a mat to practice yoga Okay, let's see if you can see me way back here. Okay, sweet. 
So Surya Namaskar, bring your feet. I like to bring my toes to touch and my heels slightly apart. <clears throat> it's called mountain pose. Bring your hands in, this is a fully activated pose. So you tuck through the tailbone, roll the shoulders up and back. This is mountain. It's the foundation pose for all the standing poses. So inhale, palms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, this is Surya Namaskar. Exhale, step or jump back. Lower the knees if you need to, and then Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, folding with an exhale, and then inhaling up. So there are always modifications when doing yoga poses. So if you feel like, you know, that was like too, <laughs> too much for you, that's okay because you can bend your knees. Chaturanga, you always elbows scrape the sides of the body. You, keep, you try to stay in one straight line, but if you need to, you can bend the knees so that that can become a little bit easier. A little bit less. It's almost like you are building up strength in certain muscles so that you can move into the next uh, move into the next kind of muscle to strengthen kind of thing. <laughs> hey, Wendy. Okay, so I'll lead you through a Surya Namaskar B. Um, it's a little bit different, but again, there are so many modifications. And if you have any questions about, you know, modifications or if you have an injury or something like that, I am open to open to questions. Just send me a message. Um, okay, Surya Namaskar B. So if you're not doing anything right now, I encourage you to get up and do it a sun salutation. Okay, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway, look up. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga, elbows scrape the sides of the body. <clears throat> inhale. Exhale, back. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Left foot turns to 45. Warrior one. Exhale, drawn out. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left side. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale. Okay, so that's Surya Namaskar, and that's literally like a whole body back to the beginning, <laughs> melting the fuzz, right? Just getting the body moving. There are so many modifications again. So if you feel like that's too much, there's definitely ways in between. So hopefully that was kind of interesting to some of you. Um, these are definitely my little things that I do every single day. Um, and just thought I'd share just in hopes of inspiring some of you guys to number 27, move your body, <laughs> get yourself Moving, maybe if it's even just, you know, in the beginning we just did this, like, that's awesome. Just remember to move your body every day so that you don't build the fuzz and lose mobility in those areas. Okay, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow for number 28. And yeah, hopefully it'll be earlier than this, but we'll see you then. Bye. Have an awesome night.